So now we want to use debug command in your Cisco DHCP server to troubleshoot the network. So as you can see, now we configured the Cisco DHCP server and this is going to be our Cisco DHCP relay agent server. So first of all, we're going to release the IP addresses from this client and renew it. And we can see the packet to the IP helper or relay agent server and then to the DHCP server. So of course here in relay agent, we can see the packet, which is great for you to troubleshoot a DHCP packet. So we'll double click on Windows 7 here. And here we'll open up the command line for our Cisco DHCP relay agent server. First of all, we're going to use debug IP DHCP we'll say question mark server and again question mark we're going to use packet so we'll say packet and as you can see the acp server packet debugging is on so here let me actually put it here i mean the cisco shell here and this is the window so simply we'll click on cmd and we'll say ip config release and again ip config renew so as you can see we have a lot of information here about releasing and requesting the ip address so here as you can see boot request from this client to this dhcp servers so to remind you actually these are the DHCP server that actually we defined in our interface VLAN 2 and only the first one is the real and these are actually I just wanted to show you how we can add another DHCP server to the DHCP relay agent. So great and the reload workspace is going to be gigabit 01 which is this one. And here it says forwarding boot reply to the client and create an ARP entry here and unicast boot reply and the rest of information here. And as you can see, unicasting boot P, which is acknowledge the IP address. Great. And even here, we should actually turn on the DHCP debug here to see what do we have here in Cisco DHCP server. The first one was actually Cisco relay agent. Here, as you can see, for troubleshooting your network, you can use debug command even in your DHCP IP helper or relay agent server. So here again, we'll say debug IP DHCP server packet as you can see DHCP packet debugging is on and again here we'll say release to see the, the packages and again here we'll say renew as you can see again we have the same information so here, as you can see, DHCP offer and unicasting the IP address and offering and request the IP address, sending DHCP act or acknowledgement. Because this is the DHCP server, as you can see, the information here is uh, clearer than here. Here it tells you that you have, for example, this kind of packet, which is clear that DHCP. But here we have the information or the Dora packet. So you want to see more about this packet. So here we'll say DHCP again question mark events here and we'll hit enter. So again here we'll say release. As you can see we have more information right now. So renew As you can see now we have the clear information here 
like we saw in uh, Wireshark. So here, as you can see, DHCP release. Actually, we release this IP address and the MAC address and the DHCP reason flag it was released. And that means the reason was for release the IP address. And from this interface, and again, here sending discovery with this MAC address for this interface VLAN, for this DHCP server, which is our uh, interface VLAN 2 and gigabit 01, which is here, the packets coming from this interface. And the DHCP class ID, VLAN ID, out VLAN ID is zero, and this is different with the VLAN ID that we have, which is two, and DHCP discover receive from this client and sending notification to discover. This is the MAC address to the DHCP server. And again, we have the class ID. And here is the DHCP hack or acknowledgement for the client with no option. So this is how we can troubleshooting your DHCP server by using the command debug. If you want to use the undebug command, you should say undebug all or DHCP. Again, we'll say details or whatever. Let's say all that it tells you all possible debugging has been turned off.